Blake's Orchard was established in 1946. My parents, Gerald and Elizabeth Blake, moved out from the city. I had virtually no farming experience at the time and wanted to raise a family in the country. Before they knew it, they had 13 kids. We had one big house. We shared some bedrooms with our brothers and sisters. Kind of cool. Our parents put us to work and we were used uh, quite extensively as the labor force for this farm. It was a lot of work, but it was a great family atmosphere. My father claimed he was the first in the state to offer pick your own apples, where we actually let the customers and families come out and pick the best fruit out there. His philosophy was different, give the people the best. In 1968, when we built the cider mill, it allowed us to become more of a destination spot. People could come watch cider being made right in front of them. We started as a real small establishment. Since that time, Blake's has grown into about an 800-acre operation with three locations. If you're walking into Blake's Cider Mill for the first time, it's the smells. I'm here so much that I take it for granted, but it's the fresh donuts being made, pies being baked, apples being squeezed. These smells really keep bringing them back. At Blake's, we grow about 40 different varieties of apples. Apples are all hand-picked. We'll try to get 500 to 1,000 bushel per acre. We mix five different varieties of apples into our cider. The neat thing about our place is customers come in and can almost touch the jug being filled. We've won many awards on the quality of our apple cider. Blake's is not just a orchard or a farm. It's a full experience, it's something that's interactive and it seems to really catch the heart and soul of a family life. A big part of our activities in the fall are school tours coming out to the farm. They can get out of their classroom, come out to an actual working farm, run around the barnyard funland area. It's very rewarding when you hear these kids talk and how excited they are. It's their first time they've ever picked an apple off a tree or even know what apple cider is. The cider mill culture in Michigan is second to none in the country. And the fall is really when this place comes to life. That's when we have everybody out here, you know, we're staffed to the nines. And it couldn't be done without our local community. It really is kind of like a tight-knit family. One of the things that I think makes Lakes Orchard a little different is our passion for innovation. We're always trying to offer something really, truly unique that they can't get anywhere else. We've been blessed to have families come out year after year, and when their kids get older, they bring their kids out. It's really rewarding as an owner to see that uh, we're doing something that people are really enjoying. <laughs>